Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. So in this video we will create a commercial banner ad for Adidas. Okay, so I have some, I have for you some uh, images here of Adidas. So this is a t-shirt and this is the logo and I'm gonna import both of them into Photoshop. So let me select both of them and drag and drop here in Photoshop. So for the t-shirt let's just press enter on our keyboard and then for the logo i'm gonna make it bigger i'm gonna press alt on my keyboard and put my cursor over here and drag and drop a little bit and then press enter okay so right now i have my two layers here one layer for the logo and one layer for the t-shirt and my background layer so i'm just gonna turn this logo here off okay select the layer of my t-shirt and i'm gonna go to this icon here click on it and then choose hue and saturation and here i'm gonna play a little bit with the colors so if you modify the this wheel here it will change the color so for example let's say the first color will be this one and i'm gonna uncheck this one create another hue and saturation and this one let's push it all the way here for example for the second color and then uncheck it create another hue and saturation this one let's make it for example red remember to always uncheck those uh, colors because otherwise they will merge with each other okay so for right now i have four colors of my t-shirt so i have the original blue and then my oh no it's green for me and then my other green and then my red color okay so i'm gonna create a text which is the slogan for uh, adidas so let me create a text here and I'm gonna call it okay so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so okay 72 impossible is nothing okay and then I'm gonna click on this icon here and press the V on my keyboard to move it around and let me put it right here okay and then i'm gonna uncheck this little icon here also so right now i have all my elements ready to be animated so let's go to our timeline and make sure we have frame animation here if you have video timeline then you choose again frame animation and click on it so right now we have our first frame okay let me create the, the second frame click on this icon and what i want to do is have my t-shirt come from the outside to the middle so i will go to the first frame bring my excuse me you have to select your layer here so i'm gonna bring my t-shirt to the outside okay just like that and in my second layer i'm gonna bring it back the, uh, if you can't if you can't select it make sure this this auto select is unchecked okay because if i have if you have this auto select checked you can't bring your t-shirt but if you uncheck this then you will bring it right in the middle let's say here okay so i have my uh, my animation here and i'm gonna select both frames and make a smooth animation so i'm gonna give it five uh, frames to add click ok and right now i have my animation here so let me go to the last frame and right now what i want to do is change the color so I want this frame to stay a little bit longer to show the first color. So I'm gonna choose 05 
you can choose whatever you want for example you can choose other and type in whatever you want i'm just gonna stick with 05 and duplicate this frame get a new frame and in this frame what i want to do i want to turn on the first color as you can see then i'm gonna duplicate this frame again i'm gonna turn on this color and choose the second color and again duplicate this one uh, remember that when you duplicate a layer it remembers all of its settings so I made the, the first color 0, 05 seconds and it remembered for the other frames also so again this layer I'm gonna turn off this color and choose this one so right now I have my animation for all the t-shirt colors okay I'm gonna stick with the last one again I'm gonna duplicate it and now I want my logo to appear so I want my logo to appear and I want my uh, t-shirt to disappear okay so I'm gonna uncheck both of these t-shirts so right now if I select my two last frames click on this icon and make five frames in the middle Photoshop is smart enough to know that I want my t-shirt to disappear and my logo to appear okay so let me play this animation the problem is it recognized or it remembered that I chosen 0, 05 seconds so I'm gonna choose my uh, frames that I created in the middle and I'm gonna select all of them and choose no delay okay let me play again my animation okay it should go smoother for you my i think my photoshop is just slowing down but this animation should go a lot more smoother here because i have zero delay here and zero delay here so let's continue with the last frame and we will see the final result in the export so here we are in the final final frame i want here my text to appear so i'm gonna for this frame for example i'm gonna make it a little bit shorter because I'm gonna add the text I'm gonna make it 0 2 seconds and I'm gonna duplicate this frame here so in this final frame I want also my text to appear okay whereas my text should be in the okay so let me make it here impossible is nothing okay so let's play our animation and as you can see in the last frame we have our text here so let's export our animation now go to file export and save for web and here remember to always check gif because it's gif animation uh, you told you can choose whether the loop is going to be forever or once or as much times that you want okay so i'm just gonna leave it to forever so let me save my animation and show you the result so right now if i drag and drop my animation inside my chrome or any web browser that you want let me drop it and here we have our animation to play i told you that the animation should be a lot more smoother I don't like the text here that appears here so you can delete it or you can animate it the way that you want this is it for our banner for adidas thanks for watching it and see you in the next one